successor and a pound for pound this one day. Is Boots your successor at the top of the world weight one day? When? When one day? One day? In the future. Oh yeah, in the future, yeah, definitely. When, when Terrence Crawford lead the division. But right now, Terrence Crawford is, you know, the, the ultimate, you know, of all ultimate, you know, men in the division. How good is he going to be? Huh? How good is Boots going to be? We don't know, you know. Uh, hey, the future tell it all. You know, we might see, you know, how good somebody is today and tomorrow. You know, it might not look so good. So, you know, he got a bright future. He's talented. He's uh, crafty. Got a lot of skills. And, you know, only time to tell. And can I just ask how much respect you've got for Spence taking that rematch? You've got a one-sided beating and he wants to fight you again. That takes some balls, doesn't it? Well, that just tells the uh, championship mentality that he has. You know, uh, he lost a, a grueling fight. And he feel as if, you know, it just wasn't his night that night. And, you know, he want to prove the world that on a, on a rematch that he can defeat me. So, you know, I take my hat off to him. And, you know, uh, it was always respect from the, the jump. That's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Terrence, another guy that's waited a long time for a big fight is Demetrius Andre. Do you think he's a lot better than people think? Oh, for sure. For sure. You know, it's disappointed. Like, like I said, he's another fighter that, you know, uh, being railroaded by politics in the, in the sport of boxing that never was given his opportunity to show how great he is, you know, and uh, hopefully he can do it come, you know, uh, fight night with Benavidez, but, you know, that's a big test to tackle given the fact that everybody, you know, uh, already matching Benavidez and Canelo against each other, and if, if it's a close fight, you know, it's more money in Benavidez, Canelo than... Andretti and Canelo, so you know, uh, I feel like he's going to have to win in, in tremendous fashion to get the victory. How do you? I know you've worked with Snack before. What kind of edge do you think they give to an athlete? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't for say say it's it's the edge. I think it's the fighter. Everybody different, you know. Uh, everybody's program is different on Snack. You know, uh, I just uh, use certain things with Snack. And, that other people don't, or they do. So, you know, it is what it is. Terrence, what do you think of uh, Canelo kind of ruling out the fight against you? Well, you know, uh, he was getting a lot of backlash on uh, the, his fight with Charlo. Charlo then put up a, a good fight, given that, you know, uh, he was going up two weight classes, and uh, a lot of people felt as if Canelo was a bully in that fight. but. I just think that Charlo just went in there and just tried to get a payday. He didn't even go in there with the mindset of winning. He just went in the mindset of not getting stopped. So has the Canelo fight, you know, realistically left your mind once he said he's not interested? Or you st uh, are you still not, pursuing it? Not, not at all. You know, I think, I think you know, uh, business talk. You know, with the right uh, business come across the table, you know, uh, yeah, I have. What, what changed when we talked to you before the Spence fight? You, you were kind of like 68, like that's kind of crazy, that's too much. What changed since the Spence fight that made you go, No, I can go to 68 and do it? I just be talking, you know, <laughs> I just be talking, man. Canelo, a big dude, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I believe in my abilities. He's not, he's a he's a heavy dude, but he's not a big guy, like he's 5'8, I'm 5'8, you know, what I mean? the longer my, arms, my, my arms longer than his, you know, uh, so. That fight, that fight will be, it'll be good. You know what I mean? What's the status, it, the status it, on a rematch between you and uh, Errol Spence? And if, if, if so, uh, man, you wasn't here early. Yeah, I know. I, got it, I know was out there getting bull right there. But, <laughs> but with, with the Canelo race? fight, is it a case, though, where it's like, I can handle that heat if he lands, or he's just not going to land it if you guys fall? Well, well you're going to get hit in the fight. You know, that's, that's one thing we all know. And I believe in my abilities, and I believe in myself that I can handle anything that any fighter uh, brings at me or throw at me. You know, I, I gotta, I gotta be able to believe in myself if I'm gonna get in the ring with you. I can't go in the ring thinking, oh man, if this guy hit me, he's gonna knock me out, or if this guy hit me, he's gonna break my ribs. So, you know, I wouldn't even entertain a fight if I felt like, you know, uh, that'd be a fight where. I couldn't hold up if, if, if I was getting punched on or anything. Now, you know, if you was talking about Deontay Wilder or something, <laughs> <laughs> like, Just man, that dude did not hit me. Yeah, so if Canelo's not going to take the fight, though. What is your opinion about, like, the, the heavyweights, like, the, 
Wilder, Georgia, they will they will share like main car over middle leagues. What do you think about that? Man, that's good. That's good. You know, those guys going over there and you know the middle middle eastern uh, guys is putting on a hell of a shows. You know, they making it a big event, and I think that they showing us in the United States. You know, uh, a blueprint of the type of event that we should be doing surrounded by boxing. You know, when when you go and you look at the event on TV and when you see how, you know, the, the fight is choreographed outside and the lights and, you know, just, you know, everything that's surrounding it, you just be like, wow, you know, you appreciate it. But then when you come to a fight in America, it's just like, all right, well, you're getting these two guys fighting and that's what you guys yeah. getting. You know, so uh, I think, I think it's great um, You know, with all the politics that you went through um, from all the different promotion companies, stuff, you kind of led the pack of, like, doing it your way. Um, Shakur is obviously underneath your wing, and there's obviously promotional things, from, like, you know, it's a tank fight or a demo fight. What does those conversations go like when you talk to Shakur about making those fights that, you know, took you forever that you finally achieved? Well, I just tell him to take time. It take time to make those type of fights, especially when you guys are on two different playing fields, you know, one top rank, one, you know, signed with Al Heyman, and they they not doing business right now. So you just got to be smart and uh, let everything pan out and play out how it's going to do. And uh, everything else is falling suit. Hey, Terrence, next week we have a, a big fight between Andre and Benavidez, man. Who you got next week? Where you been at, man? <laughs> <laughs> I was outside eating your bone back, bro. Come on, man. No, Fury no. versus Alexander Osik is the fight that it goes in weeks. <laughs> you said Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk is the fight that boxing needs? Yeah. I wouldn't say it's the fight that boxing needs, given the fact that Tyson Fury has a very large name and, you know, uh, not too many people uh, follow Usyk, but Usyk is a, a very talented fighter. And I feel like that's the fight that the heavyweight division needs to solidify one undisputed champion. And I feel like, you know, uh, the fight that, that, that boxing needs is the fight that's going to make the most sense and the fight that the fans want to see. I think that's what the fights that uh, boxing needs. Yeah, right now. given all the stuff with the sanctioning bodies and uh, the scripting you, have you ever thought about just saying, you know what, I'm not paying any more sanctioning fees going forward? And I'm done with the titles. I, look at, I look at the sanction, sanction uh, bodies and stuff like that, you know. Uh, it is what it is. It's a, it's a business. Everybody got to make a business. I mean, everybody got to eat. You know, I'm not, you know, opposed to, you know, them eating. It's just how they eat. Like, you know, um, you take a percentage for these fighters and they fight me uh, for their life. You know, I, I feel like as if, you know, we should get a, a bonus for winning the championship. Like, where in any other sport in the world do they have to pay to be champion? You know, that's unheard of. You know, uh, it's, normally, it's normally you get a, a bonus when you win. Like, so uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm against it, but, you know, uh, it's been around so long that us fighters coming up, we want to be champions so long, so, 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 so bad that it just go over our head until we get to a certain uh, position yeah, in the sport good, where... You know, yeah. it matters. That that three percent matters. You know. And do you, and do you care about winning a title in the fourth weight class? Well, it, it's history. It's history. But like I always say, you know, the champion makes the, the title. You know, you got a lot of champions out here that people don't even know. You know, so uh, it's not about the belt. It's about the champion that's holding the belt. Would you be more interested in a zoo at 54 since since you ruled Charlo out after that performance with Canelo? Well, Charlo still Charlo still uh, got three belts. Mm -hmm. You know, he's still the champion. You know, once you once you win, you know the ring belt. That's the only belt that really matters. Mm -hmm. You know, I can lose all all my belts right now and still have the ring belt, and they can fight for them belts, and it wouldn't matter what they fight for because they only going to be recognized as a second tier champion and the number one champion is going to be the ring magazine champion. So the Charlo fight is still you feel you still like that option possibly? Well, you know, I mean. I'm not going to rule it out. Uh -huh. you know, I'm not going to rule it out, but at the same time, you know, right now, you know, I'm not looking to fight with Charles. Did you already get in his head that night when you talked to him <laughs> over the ropes? Yeah. Like you planned, you know? I don't know, man. I just, you know what I mean? I, I told him what I was going to do, and, you know, 
as I was doing what I told him I was going to do, I let him know that he was next, and you know, yeah. it's what it is. So, Terrence, can you redeem uh, the Tyson Fury Francis going to MMA? You know, wrestle some of those guys and show that, you know, you got one over here that can get down with the MMA guys on their room. Man, that's tough, man. That's tough. I always told y'all, you know. Uh, I've seen you wrestle, so, you know, I, I know wrestle. you wrestle. I, I never used to wrestle, you know what I mean? But it, it's more to wrestling than, you know, that goes into UFC. You know, you got jujitsu, you got kickboxing. You got boxing, you got wrestling, you got so many, you know, aspects of fighting, you know, that that goes into a fight. So it's like, it's like, you know, what I mean, you walking into like a street fight with a, a fighter that got all kinds of street fighter abilities. So it's like you go in there and he kick you, then what? But the boxing fans, like, they're like, we got one, we got Terrence Crawford, we can get it back, yeah, you know, can, go around. We definitely can get it back, man. Don't kick him. He's saying don't kick him. Congratulations on your new baby. He has all skills in boxing to be there. Who? Shakur Stevens. Man, he's going to be number one. I told y'all that. I've been telling y'all that. Terrence, does any part of you worry for Shakur, though, that it'll happen to him like it happened to you? He's got to wait till his 30s to get Tank and Devin no, and, you know. So. He's young right now. He's in a great uh, place in his career right now, and I think that, you know, uh, everything is going to work out for him. He just got to keep looking sharp, and, you know, everything else is going to follow. But you had to leave that place to get those places. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.